sometimes fine to me. All right. Uh, if we're all ready, why don't we uh, start out? Uh, usually what I do for those of you who uh, I don't frequently DM for is um, every session at the beginning, the players recap the last session and any events prior to that that they choose to. And um, once you do that, if I decide you do a good enough job, uh, the party gets one point of inspiration. And at some point during the session, you can choose to reroll something. That's hilarious. Um, well, we uh, we found a, a little old unicorn necklace. Wait, before, before you keep going, what, I'm cutting out, Russ? Am I cutting out for everybody? No. Uh, yeah, not for me. <laughs> Guys, we're chilling right now. We'll figure it out. We're getting there, slowly but surely. Also, Alistair, I love that idea, and uh, I hope you know I have a fairly good memory. I didn't take excellent notes on last session. I normally do, though, but um, I will I do expect very little <laughs> when I do this. <laughs> You're good? And you can hear me fine? I can Good. hear you fine. Okay. Um, in that case, um, continue with your recap that I so rudely interrupted. So rude. We found a little, we found a little old, um, unicorn necklace. We gotta find this boy. We have to find St. Germain's boy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's missing and we gotta find him. And we got a necklace. And uh, we got a few iffy leads, and now we're at this, like, little old abandoned-ish seedy area. And I don't remember what happened directly after that, but we got here. You got here and I described it, and then yeah. we stopped playing. <laughs> yeah. Stopped the session. Uh, anything else anyone wants to add? Um, we found out that Volo is interested in this... Uh, I have it written down wrong, correct, like, intentionally, um, Floon, um, <laughs> yes. because he's a bit of a free spirit. You know, we met at a bar, there was a troll, um, we learned that our good friend is a shapeshifter, uh, we found the one crooked cop in town, we ran around for a little bit, we found that uh, Purple Store and Shay bought a dead pixie in a jar, um, <laughs> We just, we really just ran around causing chaos. They stabbed a man. Yeah, they sure yeah. did. All right. Um, now that all that chaos has been caused, um, you're here at the warehouse. Oh, I will, get, of course, give you a point of inspiration. Uh, and the way I handle this, it's group inspiration. So everyone has to agree on when to use it. Uh, and it expires at the end of this session. So, uh, you find yourselves at this warehouse, um, if you can see the map. Uh, also, I, I've been getting weird signals about whether or not anybody can see my cursor when I'm DM. Can you guys see? Yep. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Um, so, this is the, uh, the gate that leads into the courtyard, as you can see. Um, this uh, the building is it's this kind of run down almost entirely wooden building uh it's got this big loading door right here and a little side door next to it and up here to the north there's uh, a window that looks to be uh, have black paint over it to be blacked out oh boy so what do you do oh man um Blocked out with paint, you said? Yes. None of us have interacted with this store yet, have we? Like in any way whatsoever? 
so. Yeah, I don't think so. Um, let me see if I have... Um, you did notice the symbol of the Zentarum on the door. Mm -hmm. um, other than that, I think Shay was pretending to be a Zentarum agent in this alley. And that yeah, didn't work. You, you pretended to be the guy that you stabbed. Um, right. And you're standing up there screaming right now. Yeah. Can Shay hear us? Hmm. So this door just leads into the little, um, a little, uh, courtyard area here. This, this is outdoors. Yeah. And this is a, this is fencing here? Yes. Uh, so yeah. once you're inside, you, the three of you notice that in this, uh, courtyard, there is, um, a physical uh, black winged snake uh, laying in the courtyard, apparently dead. Um, and it's uh, got an arrow through it. it. Seems to have been shot. Can I roll nature on that? Uh, go for it. Yeah, that's going to be a composite 20. What do you want to know? Uh, have is is a black winged snake? Is that a thing that exists in nature? Is this common for this area? Um, there. I, I'm gonna say that they're not common in this area. With a nature check, you know that they're definitely not native to here. Uh, with a composite twenty, you do know that they do exist in nature. Um. By the way, the the wings, they're not like, you know, those side flap wings that some real life snakes have. They're like little tiny dragon wings. Um, and, uh, but I guess I will say that, um, that's correct, Ren. They are not native to this area, but Matilda, you probably recognize from your dealings with the Zentarum that, um, the Zentarum tend to use these as messengers. Ah, so can I investigate the situation and figure out from which direction the snake came and which direction the arrow came and if there's any sort of message attached to it? Sorry, can you hear me? Yeah, sorry. I don't know if that was on my end. But Did everything... For everyone else yeah yeah okay uh, i can cool. Cool, cool, cool. probably server side then anyway yes can you can i can i do that can you i i oh heard that. um i was just asking if i can investigate this situation here and see from which direction the um the snake came and which direction the um arrow came and whether it has a message attached to it make an investigation check investigation okay uh -huh. Ooh. 19 is uh, certainly enough to notice that it does have a little note um rolled up underneath one of its wings uh, kind of lodged in there there's a spot where it holds it there um where it was coming from and where it was shot from are a little bit more difficult to ascertain okay um i i, I think it's it's hard enough to tell that i mean it was likely in the air when it was shot and it's hard to tell i'm gonna take that note and i'm gonna okay. i'm gonna open that up all right can i read uh, <laughs> am i able to read <laughs> Yes, you are able to read. Okay. I mean, unless you think in character, you wouldn't be. <laughs> What's this um, little here note say? 
Uh, it says in common. Uh, it says, um, let me try and remember the exact wording of what I wanted it to say. Um, I don't care if he says they're estranged. The kid has the missing piece of the puzzle. Don't stop questioning him until you find it. What the fuck? What else is going on in this portal? Is it like, is it empty at four? Uh, it's pretty empty. There's a few uh, little barrels and crates that seem to be, you know, it, it's a warehouse here. If I do an investigation into the crates. Yeah, sure. Oh, that's a seven, so that's probably not really anything. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's an eleven. Yeah, I mean, you don't find much. It seems to be mostly mundane, you know, okay. rations. There are a few um, crates of very simple weapons around. Okay. Uh, you want to see what's in? further i mean if there's one of their messengers is dead outside that doesn't seem great for what's going on inside yeah <sighs> makes sense um, yeah. i'd have to agree with that okay. um are, so there's no windows or anything like no way of seeing on like inside the warehouse without actually Going inside. There is the one blacked out window, but there's no ways of looking inside now. And this I mean, is unless you want to. Yeah, no, it's tightly packed. Actually, you can't get around to the other side of it to look for any other entrances or windows or anything. This is the window right here. Wanna... Yes, okay. this is the blacked out window. You want to break the window? <sighs> oh, I got a slingshot. Yeah. Yeah, let me sling. <laughs> Let me sling my guys, shot. <laughs> guys, so uh are we trying to be are we trying to be sneaky? I have an idea. <laughs> it, it, it how about I can hide and then you guys can break the window and that way if people do come out, at least we'll have a surprise attack. Yeah. I like that today idea. Cool. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, yeah. Jesus Christ! <laughs> I, I, this I is such a bad idea. <laughs> this is not a good idea. It's like, we'll make a loud noise. <laughs> but all the time. sneak in. <laughs> no, go ahead. <laughs> hey, you're hiding. Um, I mean, if, if you... What's your name again? Sorry, I forgot your name. Ren? Ray? Yeah, I'm yeah. Ren. Yeah. Okay. Ren, if you think, I mean, you have any other ideas? I, I'm i like halfway into a barrel at one point. <laughs> is there anything, you got any other ideas? Because this, this window is intriguing me. Uh. Nope. Yep, go ahead. Um, <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> yep. Just uh, keep your hands free, free from the glass. <laughs> Shit, yeah. make an intelligence check. Okay. Terrible fucking idea. Oh, no, no. That's, oh, that's me saying that. That's not Ren. Ren doesn't care. <laughs> <laughs> I'll break the window. That's all good. Oh, intelligence. Okay, that's um, uh, 20. Oh. 20? Uh, yeah. You are a rogue, and rogues can often find other ways to break into places without having to break things. In particular, you're, you've seen this type of window and you know some of the weaknesses in design, and you could probably at least attempt to <laughs> use your tools to pick it? Uh, okay. I mean, I guess I could do that. It's kind of lame. I like the idea of breaking it, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> or something. Ren hey, has his quarter I... staff. Like, he's, like, ready to break in the window. Like, he's, he's got it reared back. He's gonna hit him. Uh... Stop him. <laughs> Matilda's just I rubbing think... her hands like a little rodent. Like, she's very excited. <laughs> <laughs> like you the... want, and this is not you guys i could try and break in first like stealthy like what i could try and break in like break through the like like sneak through the window like unlock it from the uh from the outside first and then if that doesn't go well we could try just shattering the window mm. yep all right okay, okay. no no <laughs> uh, is that a sleight of hand 
Uh, it's just dexterity plus your proficiency with um, thieves tools, which is doubled because you have expertise in thieves mm. tools. Cool, 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 cool. Um, what's my proficiency in thieves tools? Uh, your just plus your proficiency, which is two. Uh, but since it's thieves okay. tools, you double it, so it's dexterity plus four. Uh, that is a twenty-five. Uh, yeah, easily. The, you've Hell you've dealt yeah. with many of these types of windows before. It just kind of, just kind of slide something in behind it, move it a little bit, and it pops open. I think you're being kind of lame for not letting us break the window, but whatever. <laughs> hey, I didn't not let you. Hey. I just gave you another option. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't say you're not allowed. He just said maybe it's not such a good idea to shatter a window, alerting everyone to our presence immediately, and I didn't then even try say to sneak that. in. Well, All I said is, I Jay, said you know other ways to get in. <laughs> I said that. That's what I'm Maybe I'm projecting. And I think you're a nerd. <laughs> so we're at an impasse. Um, She'll be it. Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm going to I'm gonna slither on through that window. Um, you need me to roll stealth or anything? Uh, yeah, roll your stealth check. Okay. Oh, fuck. That's an 11. Mm, okay. Ren's going to offer to pick Matilda up so she can look through the now open window. <laughs> <laughs> um, Matilda's just like dangling her little feet like like a kid on a on one of those uh, swing rides at the carnival. <laughs> we should so... get a baby Bjorn. We should get a Bjorn. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> All right. So, uh, Shay, I presume you're going in as you stealth? Oh, yeah. All right. Um, so when you do that, you notice uh, over, there is a ton more crates and boxes in here, uh, mm -hmm. and barrels and the like. It, it is a warehouse. Um, mm -hmm. And you notice um, a Kanku right here um, rummaging through some of the crates looking for anything useful. And you also notice it noticing you. Uh, so everyone cool. is going to roll initiative. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh boy. Oof. <laughs> That's two twos in a row. Yeah. It's a lot of does. Oh, wait. Good job, Ren. Good job. <laughs> wait. Ah, dang it. I'll fix that. Hang on. Ah. <laughs> I can put your initiatives back too. I mean, if we could, re I mean, you know, if, you know, if we want to re-roll, I guess you know, because re <laughs> yeah. I messed that up, so I'll let you all re-roll. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. DM. I genuinely didn't even notice if you had all rolled well. Ah, I definitely. <laughs> I was at the bottom, and now I'm at the top. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I went um, from a two to a twenty. Wow. Yeah. Okay, uh, so, Matilda, you're up first. What are you doing? Um, I guess I'm gonna... Can I... Okay, so I was really stoked on using my slingshot, and then I didn't. Can I slingshot one of these kankus? Uh, you'd have to get in first. Uh, but also, we... uh, Shay, I presume you <laughs> turn off your lantern, too, before you go in. I forgot oh, yeah, to do yeah. that. Right, there you go. So now uh, you can barely see. Also, cool. Um, so yes, Matilda, you I presume go inside and then shoot your slingshot. Yeah, I crawl over through the window and. Yep, easy enough. Um, I'm just gonna hop right on top of Shay's shoulders and. Uh... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Use my little slingshot. Sorry. Uh, sling is designed to consume ammunition, but no resources specified. Did we talk about? Um, I can fix that. Sling I'm not bullets. Make you use ammunition. Oh. What? I clicked sling. Here. Yeah, I'll I'll fix that. Hang on. Uh, so you rolled a five plus. 
Plus four. Uh, your attack with the sling would use your dexterity. Yes, yeah, so plus four. Nine is not going to hit. Dang it. Um, do I have enough action left to? Are these bo are these boxes here? Uh, yeah, they're. It, this is a warehouse. They're okay. crates. Uh, can I hop onto one of these crates? Yeah, sure. I'm gonna hop onto one of these crates. Uh, I'll move you there. Okay. Kind of Thank you. <laughs> and I guess that's gonna be my time. Okay. Um, next up is going to be this Kenku, who's gonna come around this way. And then, uh, gonna try and shoot ya. Uh, that's a 21 to hit. To hit me? Yes. Yeah, you got me. Six piercing damage. All right, so I click. Uh, you have your, you need to click on your token to have it selected. Yep, and then it. in the chat, you uh -huh. can, yeah. Okay. Okay. There you go. All right. Then next up is this Kenku's turn. Who's going to do this? Uh, what is the range of the short bow? It's 80 to 20. That's plenty. Uh, yes. Yeah, so he is also going to make a short bow attack. This one against Shay. Oof. <laughs> natural one. Hell yeah. Uh, and then this one is going to run up and make a short sword attack against Matilda. Mm -hmm. 14 to hit. Uh, no. All right. Then it is Shay's turn. Okay, so I'd like to, um, to, to take out the, the dead pixie in a jar okay. uh, and hold it above my head and say, uh, don't move. This is an incredibly powerful magical bomb, and if anyone moves, I'm throwing it on the ground and killing us all. <laughs> <laughs> Make a deception check. Cool, and I have advantage on deception, right? Uh, that's advantage on deception to pass yourself off as a different person. Right, right, right. Okay. Uh, that is a 16 plus 23. Okay. It finally worked! Oh my god! <laughs> um... Is that all you're doing? Um, Any bonus action or movement? I, w I would actually, I would like to, I'm going to move out um, here. So I'm like, everyone can see me. Okay. Mm. Um, and uh, they they believed you. So with a 23, I think they, they believed you. Um, so this one's not going to take the opportunity attack that it would have gotten. Um, and this one is gonna kind of back away a little bit, and then it is Ren's turn. Alright, so my guy is going to... Do we know that so I guess Matilda went in, so I'm gonna enter the building. Oh god. Um... Hmm. I'm gonna scurry... Oh, oh god, there's one right there. Okay. Uh, I'm going to give that boy, uh, I'm going to cast Shillelay as a bonus action, and then I'm going to bonk him on the head. All right, Shillelog. Shil is that how it is? Shillelog? No, it's not. It's Shillelay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that is going to be a whopping 11 to hit. Um, 11 will not hit. Yeah, I figured it wouldn't. All right. <laughs> That's my turn. I'm just going to stand there and look at him. <laughs> okay. I'm going to um, miss and then grumble. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> so I, I did import, by the way, Shillelagh correctly okay. uh, on your character sheet in Foundry now. So it actually works. Um, now it is Matilda's turn. I'm going to bonk this dude. This is the dude that done went and done caused me some damage, yeah? No. No. Well, either way. You got shot with an arrow. It caused you some damage. Oh, right on. I'm gonna... I'm gonna smack this boy with my big old maul. Are you gonna use Great Weapon Master? Yes, I am. Okay, so in the future, when you do that, um, if you go to the effects tab in your inventory... Uh-huh. 
see great weapon master there. Uh huh. And the little uh, toggle effect check mark. Uh huh. Click the check mark. All right. And so what that does is that will automatically apply the bonuses for great weapon master. Very good. Okay. Cool. Uh. Okay. Here we go. That's a twelve. Uh, 12 is going to miss, God I'm damn. afraid. Okay. <laughs> Rolling like shit today. We're doing good, guys. Yeah. Hey, I have them threatened with my nuke, apparently. So. <laughs> uh... so, this Kenku... Hold up, wait, before I end my turn, if I move over here, can I, can I be right here? Sure. I would like to be there, and then it, would that count as flanking? Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, can you put me there? Uh, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, it's probably just, yeah, weird wall stuff. Um, yeah, in fact, I'll say if you want to retcon a little bit and say that you went there and then attacked. Okay. Then you can reroll your attacks. So see, right. uh, in chat, Maul, you can e press the plus button to uh -huh. tell it to just roll advantage. See that? Yeah. yeah. That's a, ooh, that's a All right, 20. there you go. That's yeah, a that's dirty 20. <laughs> Crit damage? Not crit. Oh. All right. Yeah, that mm. uh, immediately kills the thing. <laughs> so Bonk. what I do, what I do is I take my maul and I wind it up like a yeah. like a baseball player, yeah. and I just like this swing it. This is a it. comedically large maul. For yeah. Such a small <laughs> I, that's what I try to do, but because I'm so small, I just end up like doing like a Rose and Jack dancing on the Titanic, where they're just swinging each other around. And I just, like, yeet this boy like a croquet mallet. <laughs> and I, he just goes flying across the room. All right. Um, next up is this Kenku, who's going to see you do that. And um, he's going to... I'm going to... I don't think at this point he cares as much about the magical bomb... Actually, he's going to try and... I'm going to have him try and grapple you. Okay. Uh, and we'll say, if you agree, that if he successfully grapples you, he can grab the jar. If he gets his fucking fairy from me, I'm going to everything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so he's going to make an athletics check contested by your uh, athletics or acrobatics, your choice. I presume acrobatics. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. I got a 12. So did he. Oh. Um, in the case of a tie, um, the aggressor loses. So you win. Nice. Um, and then it is going to be this Kanku's turn. Who's going to come up here. Uh, and this one's not as concerned with the bomb anymore at all. Just going to attack Matilda. Hmm because you killed one of his friends 16 to hit that ain't gonna do shit all right uh shay it is your turn um so if i wanted to shove the jar in his mouth and then punch the his, the, his bottom jaw is that something i could do <laughs> uh that that would be an unarmed strike uh okay. which you don't have in your inventory so i'm gonna say it, i mean it's a strength check plus your proficiency to hit okay so roll strength oh, check cool, yeah. minus one with strength um yeah i'm gonna do it i got a two <laughs> uh yeah that's not gonna hit fantastic all right uh I refuse and... to use my actual weapons i will only improvise <laughs> fight <shit. laughs> all right and then it is this kenku's turn who's gonna come up here and uh, he's going to attack you, Shay, and he has advantage because he's flanking. Oh, yum. Uh, so that is short sword with advantage. Yeah, that hits. Yeah. Yeah. Six piercing damage. Shay is looking rough. <laughs> um, next up is Ren. All right. Mm. 
See, re- Shay's really close and uh, kind of don't want to. How bad are you looking, Shay? I'm looking um, uh, pretty, pretty MFing rough at the moment. <laughs> pretty MFing rough. All right, well, I'm going to scurry over here then. Uh, and I'm going to heal you uh, with cure wounds. Great. So <laughs> there you go. Uh, that that should be one d eight plus your modifier. Oh, plus so my modifier. Five. Mod? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I will fix that. All right. She's looking a little bruised, but a lot better. Uh, anything else, Ren? No. Uh, I don't think that's all I could do because that's anything. All right, then it is Matilda's turn. You already know it's time to maul this boy right here. Time to maul this boy right here. Oof. That's a four. <laughs> Oof, indeed. Um, We're doing good. We're doing so doing good. So We're doing good. really good. <laughs> oh, you know what, though? Can I do some barbarian shit? As a bonus action? Oh my god, can I rage? Yeah, oh. sure, you can rage. Uh, and in the same place, in active effects, you can acti- act- You can activate rage. So... Effects? Effects, okay, rage. Uh, do I click this little toggle effect? Yep. I'm raging, y'all. You are oh, raging. Uh, so let me, hold on, let me put that in the chat. Uh, so that I can see yep. it. Um, advantage on strength checks. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. I did that after I tried to maul. Okay. I'm just going to do that. And that will be my turn. Okay. Uh, and then this Kanku is going to... Uh, yeah, you attacked it, Shay. So it's going to hit back. Fantastic. Short sword. Yep. Seven piercing damage. Oh. How's Shay looking? Shay ain't dead yet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then it is this Kanku who is going to attack Matilda. Okay. Uh, Eleven is going to miss. Um, and then it is Shay's turn. Okay, I'm gonna attack with an actual... I'm just gonna stab at this dude with my right here, because, you know what, jars and shit are too difficult. Okay, which one are you gonna stab at? Uh, this guy right here. Okay, may I recommend, just for rogue playbook reasons, that you stab one of these two, because you'll get sneak attack on ones that are within five feet of an ally. Oh, okay, yeah, um... Which one's looking worse? The one above me or the one below me? Neither of them have taken a hit. Yep. Fantastic. I'm going to attack the one below me. Um, okay. Uh, so wait, what's what's a sneak attack? Like, how is that? Um, so, sneak attack... Uh, you have an ability on your character sheet in Foundry. Uh, it says, uh, be an 8 first level, you know how to strike subtly and... Ex- yeah, exactly. So if you do hit, you'll do that much sneak attack damage. Also, okay. if you go into inventory, you can make all these rolls and everything in there, and it'll do the math automatically if you just go into your inventory and click the weapon you're going to attack with. Okay. We'll get it eventually, Alistair. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 11 not is now. not going to hit. But cool, 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 cool. <laughs> oh, also, for the... Uh, speaking of foundry character sheets and how it works uh ren if you just click cure wounds in your spell book it'll automatically yeah. roll that for you and you don't have to manually roll it and it'll add your modifier and everything i thought i did I'm do that i clicked it Sorry. um did you click the 1d8 on it i might have just click the little icon that's next to the words cure wounds okay the the actual icon not the yes yeah. 
because then it'll do everything. It'll take your spell slot away and it'll uh, roll the healing for you. Um, so next up is this Kenku who, uh, yeah, I mean, let's see. How, how shitty is he going to be? Is he going to be a shitty boy? <gasps> Please don't be a shitty boy. He's not going to be a shitty boy. I'm shocked. Um, he's going to realize that Ren is the healer and realize he thinks whether he's right or not that as long as he keeps hitting Shay, Shay is going to be fine because you're going to keep hitting Shay. So he's going to hit you instead. Fine. Uh, that'll hit. <laughs> Min damage. Min though. damage. All right, then it is Ren's turn. Um, all right, I am going to. Is it possible for me to put? I uh, see. Uh, see, Russ. Russ is left now, so I can't. I get back. I kind of want to shove Shay, um, out of this murder pit. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of the best way to do. Uh that. I'll say you can, uh... Does your quarterstaff have a hook on it? Like one of those old-timey cartoons where the hook just comes out and rips them off the stage? You know, I wish it did, but I <laughs> literally think he just picked up a stick off the ground. <laughs> <laughs> like, I wish I could tell you that, yeah, it's, it's like a big cane, <laughs> but my man definitely just, like, grabbed a branch and broke it and was like, this is mine now. Like, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Could I shove her, like, up up here? Could I, like, give her a shove? Or even into the Kenku in front of her? It would take your action, but yeah. Okay, I want to try... I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to do that, because um, Shay's not looking great. So I'm going to try to shove her in this free space. Um, okay. So uh, she... uh, since uh, a shove is a contested check, I'll say Shay can choose to fail. And um, if... Uh... When Russ gets back, we'll see if he wants to choose to fail. I suppose. I am back. Yes. I don't know if you can hear me. We I can. am back. Okay. Um, yeah, no, I'll, I'll just fail that. Okay. Uh, in that case, easy enough. Run pushes you up to here. Cool. Um, up to, uh, wait. To here. Okay. No, yeah, I'm in directly the center of everyone. I moved you. Big brain. I think that's it. I think that's all I can do with my action. I'm out of spell slots. All right, and then it is Matilda's turn. Um, so I'm going to make is my my mall. My mall's a melee weapon. Yeah, it is. I'm gonna maul this guy, and because I'm raging. Uh, I got a plus two bonus to the damage roll. Okay. Do you want that to be a uh, Great Weapon Master attack? Yeah. Okay. In that case, go ahead. Okay. it's still active from before. It is still active from before. Okay. So, uh, here we go. Uh, and you have advantage okay. because you're flanking. Hell yeah. I've also got a 19. Uh, yeah, not that 19 is going to miss, but uh, roll, roll your advantage just in case you crit. Okay. Nah. All right. Close. Uh, so roll damage. Okay. All right, yeah, 19 is plenty. Um, cool. And since you reduced a creature to zero hit points with your attack action, Great Weapon Master lets you make an attack as a bonus action. I'm going to attack this boy right here. Okay. With my maul. I'm gonna maul him. That's a ten. Ten is not gonna hit. No, it's an eleven. <laughs> oh, eleven is not gonna hit. Dang it! All right. Uh, a lot of elevens tonight. Truly. Um, can I? Wait, was that my bonus action? Yes. All right, so I guess I'm just gonna vibe here. Uh, then it is this Kenku's turn. Um, I mean. Yeah, he, he's going to hit Shay. 
Yeah, I figured. <laughs> Fifteen to hit. Uh oh. Um, armor class is. Needs a D to. Does that hit? Yeah. Rip. Um, well, I'm at one hit point. So yeah. It goes yeah. Over okay. Well, I'm dead. Yeah. I mean, I'm not dead. Dead. I'm You're unconscious. Like... Yes. Yep. Man, if only you had started hitting them sooner. <laughs> I wanted to see what would happen. Yeah. It, it almost worked. <laughs> it was interesting. If your compatriots you. hadn't also been fighting them in the background, they would have believed it, and that would have ended the combat encounter. Yeah. Yeah. All right, uh, so now it is your turn, which means you make a death saving throw. Do you remember where those are? Um, I mean, can I just roll, like, it's a d20. Yeah. I make that one. It's a six. All right. You have one successful death save. Uh, then it is this Kenku's turn, who is going to attack Ren again. Is that hit? Uh, no, that is not hit. No. All right. Um, then it is your turn. Okay, so I've actually never had a player go down when nobody had any healing available, so I can't stabilize. I don't have Spare the Dying, so I can't stabilize Shay, right? I can try to make a save for them, right? You can make a medicine check. If you, su if you, if you succeed on a DC-10 medicine check, then they stabilize. You have to be within five feet of them for that. Of course, and it takes your action. It's medicine? Yes. Yeah, I like those odds. Uh, oh, I'm also really low health, though. I, um, and I they don't... Also... They don't come back, they just stabilize. They're still yeah, I know. I but my thing at is... Least three more throws, so you have... There's, there's rounds for you to do other stuff first. Yeah, but my concern is that... Like... I, I only have six hit points right now, so if I get hit, I might go down. And I'd rather you be stable with my plus four medicine than maybe... Because you probably won't fail three checks, but you might. Um... Which have... This this Kenku has not been hit. This one has, right? Nope. Neither of them. Neither of them? Have. I'm gonna I'm gonna do some damage right now. Yeah, uh, I think I'm, that's a good idea. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna hit this one directly here. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I'm working with. Yeah, because that's a spell. I was gonna try to do some big brain, but I don't think that works. No. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna miss. All right. Well. It is, is Matilda's turn. turn. I'm going to try to bop this boy again. All right. You're not within five feet of either of them. so I'm going to come on over here. Huh? Yeah, sure. Uh, I'm not being flanked currently, correct? No. Okay. This one's dead. I, right. I didn't know. If, yeah, I guess. Okay. Uh, all right. Let me bop him on the noggin. That's an eight. That's not going to hit. But do I still have this a... Is... Do I... Because I'm raging, can I roll again? Do I still have advantage? No. No? Advantage on strength checks. Uh, okay. Not attack rolls. Um, I feel safe. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> <laughs> so this is, these are the trade-offs of Great Weapon Master, right? If you didn't take the minus five to hit there, you would have hit. All right. Uh, I guess I don't really have anything left as a bonus action then. Uh, all right. Um, Yeah, I guess that's my turn. 
All right. Level uh, one. <laughs> yeah, level one is uh, it's something. <laughs> uh, this one's gonna hit you with their short sword, Matilda. Okay. I'd like to see him uh, try. That's, that's gonna miss. <laughs> uh, and then it is Shay's turn, so you might have to make another death save. Uh, made it seventeen. All right. Okay. Um, and then next up is this one, who, uh, probably gonna keep hitting Ren. So, that is... We're friends. 16 to hit? Nope. Okay. Hell yes. Good. He's got a good AC. Then, next up is Ren. Would you believe it? I'm just gonna whack this boy that's directly in front of me. Again. Go for because it. Because third time's the charm. <laughs> Hell that yeah. That hits. Yeah. And I just come down here when I roll damage. Yeah. All right, seven bludgeoning damage. Still alive. Oh god. Now it is Matilda's turn. Uh. Guess I'm gonna go at it again with my mall. So, if I may, again, offer some advice, just like I was giving uh, Russ some advice. I hate to be a backseat player, but um, you probably want to not be attacking with Great Weapon Master as much as possible, because these guys don't have a whole lot of health to make the plus 10 really worth it. Can I just deselect it then? Yeah. Okay, I didn't know that was a choice. I thought I had to just wait for it to... Oh no, you can you can turn it on and off as much as you want. Oh, okay. I thought I had to just Great wait for Great Weapon Master it. you can choose to make on each attack or choose to not use. Okay. Uh so let me uncheck that then. Yep. Cool. Sorry, I just thought I had to wait for it to uh, run its course. Uh okay, so here we go. God damn it, that's a 10. Still not a great roll, though. It's not. Yeah, I mean, that misses. Oh. Um, and then this one's going to go and try and hit you, Matilda. Mm, yeah, oh, that, that that's hits. 24 to hit. Mm-hmm. Maybe you'll uh, be But fine. you are raging, so you only take half of this damage. So 2.5? A 2. <laughs> okay. But there's also the little damage buttons in chat. There's one for half damage. Okay. Uh, quarter damage, half damage. Okay. All right. Um, and then it is Shay's turn. Make another death save. Eleven's good, right? Yes. Stabilized. Yep. Hey. No longer bleeding out. It feels good. It feels good to die for the second time in the second session. <laughs> That's session. true. We should make it a yep. trend. <laughs> I'll do my best. Shay has to die once each session. Otherwise, it doesn't count as a session. It doesn't count. Um, all right. And Just now keep going until I die. <laughs> uh, oof, that is a 23 to hit, Ren. <laughs> yeah, that'll hit. <laughs> Five, two, oh. I'm still alive. Okay. <laughs> Barely, though. Um, then it is your turn, Ren. Uh, How's Matilda looking right now? Uh, I'm actually looking pretty good. I got nine hit points. I mean, comparatively speaking. And I've, I'm also raging, so I'm harder to hit. Yeah, that'll, that'll probably work. See, my brain is telling me to just disengage and move away, but that's kind of shitty. So, and Ren's kind of stupid. So I'm going to attack the man directly from me with Shillelagh again. Oh my god. That'll hit. It's going to work. Yay. Yeah, that takes it down. Nice. All right. And then I'm going to stand behind my shoulder. Okay. Uh, then it is Matilda's turn. Uh, I guess I'm going to try to bop this boy one more time. Cross my little baby possum fingers. Please get it. Oh, oh my god. 13? Oh, you, you killed him. 
Nice. Yeah. Is he dead? Mission accomplished. Ladies and gentlemen. I Is Al- there. Huh? I lost you there a bit. I'm back now, though. Um, yes, 13 hits. Roll damage. Nice. That's a 13. That is exactly how many hit points All I right. have. Alright, <laughs> I've had enough of this boy. I've had enough of swinging and missing. I just absolutely lose my shit. You know when you come upon a possum and they notice you <laughs> and their teeth, their te- they just like bare their teeth and like hiss, but like real slowly? That's what I do. And I just like, one more time, give him a good old bonk with my maul and uh, send him flying. <laughs> uh, yeah he absolutely uh you definitely kind of baseball swing him and he kind of flies into these crates down here very good all right uh so that is the combat uh what are you doing now other than sleeping shay <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool. all right ren is furiously coughing and just like hacking more than normal um and he's he's gonna shamble over to shay and like look down still coughing very rude of him um and like look down and goes, <laughs> all right uh can i roll a medicine check to just establish that shay is not gonna die yeah go for it that's my that's my skill set medicine guys i'm gonna learn foundry i'm gonna get so good <laughs> <laughs> 14. Uh, yeah, you can definitely tell that Shay is stable. All right. Good. <laughs> Walk it off, champ. Come on. <laughs> I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna kick her with my foot a little bit. <laughs> okay. I take one damage and die. <laughs> <laughs> you die. <laughs> I mean, it's not stay like Shay is now down for the count, but we probably uh, yeah, should. Is there anything I would do to not be completely zonked? No, I'm uh, not I mean, unless any, only if somebody has healing, which nobody does. You're out of spell. God damn because it. would you believe it? Both of them were used to heal you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I keep dying. The first I time can't... you went down, and then in the fight. <laughs> I'm not going to attack in a conventional way, which means I'm going to die a lot, and that's your guys' <laughs> burden to bear. Just, <laughs> just wait until we're out of level one, though. <laughs> okay. Fair. Fine. Fine. Don't you have a ranged weapon, Shay? Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um, so... Can, yeah, wait. Can I roll? Also, oh, you I, will... I, I... Yes? If I had told them, when I had my fairy nuke, if I had told them to drop their weapons, would they have? With a 24? It was a 23, and I think you might need a 25 plus for that. Ah, alright. I was hoping that that would have ended the fight, you know, and we wouldn't have had to go through all this. It absolutely would have ended the fight if Matilda and Ren didn't keep whacking on them anyway. Sorry. Oh, okay. (laughs) Well, then you can't blame me for my death now. It's your fault. Ha <laughs> <laughs> um, All right. Since we're all, like, not looking too good, and this is just, like, a one little room area here, There's I almost feel like we might benefit from a little old long rest. Maybe not here, but also maybe here. I think... Can I roll perception to see if there's anything in the area? Just because I don't want to leave four bodies here and then come back and the police oh, are here i should also say that uh there were already bodies uh, i uh, forgot to put in their little dead body tokens but uh in this area down here which you guys mostly couldn't see during the fight uh there are 12 dead bodies do they all have the tattoos um make a perception check or investigation your choice 18. Uh, yeah, 18. Five of them have um, either snake tattoos or typical Zentarim up- uh, attire. Uh, you know, black leather. Um, Kenku, too. 
Uh, no, the Kenku are not wearing armor. They're wearing plain clothes. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then the other seven of the dead bodies are, um, they're also wearing leather armor, but it doesn't look to be Zentarim affiliate, affiliated. Uh, and one of them has a tattoo on his right palm. Um, I should have thought about how I'm going to show you this image. I will work on drawing what the tattoo is of uh, while you... What else are you guys doing? Is there any way to tell if these Kenku had arrived after these bodies had died and were just scavenging, or if the Kenku had killed them? Um, I'll say that... Um... For your 18 perception check, you notice that... Um, oh, that wasn't me. Sorry. This no, is... I, I'm still oh. talking to Ren. Okay. Uh, for Ren's 18 perception check, uh, he can tell that the the attire of the Kenkus shares similarities to the attire of the seven dead. Mm -hmm. Not the Zentarim ones, the other ones. Okay. Hmm. Um, I'm going to look through the dead bodies and see if I can find any medicine. <laughs> Um, okay, make an investigation check. Okay. Nat 20. Yeah. Mm. Ah, 17. Uh, I mean, I I'm afraid they don't have any healing supplies on them. <laughs> yeah, alright. Um, okay. Is that a little door up here? Uh, yes, it is. I want to go check that out. Uh, also, you did say you wanted to make a perception check to just check everything out. That perception yeah. check I asked for was just the bodies, so go ahead and make that perception check, too. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Uh, what is that, 12? 12. 12. Uh, yeah, I mean, it certainly is a warehouse. There's a this these stairs lead up to a balcony that goes around on a second floor uh these stairs here mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. other than that you know it's it's just a warehouse, warehouse. not that deep all right i'm gonna oh, oh. does this door lead out oh shit. <laughs> Fuck. oh as you open that door um i forgot that's a thing that i need to do uh as you open that door um, this person who is behind the door is going to immediately try to grapple you and he has advantage because you are surprised by it. So he is going to make an athletics check with advantage and you can contest it with your choice of um, athletics or acrobatics. You know I'm going to use acrobatics. Nine. Alright, he grabs you and puts a blade up to your throat and says... Um, he then looks around and sees who else is here and says, I don't know who you are or, or what you want, but I promise I don't have what you're looking for. Oh. Help. <laughs> this is the, yeah. This is the person from the note. Were you what? being, were you being interrogated here? Yes, I, I was. Uh, he's gonna, uh, he's gonna kind of shimmy his way out and kind of peeks his head over down here and sees that you've killed most of them and says, "You, you killed them." Yeah. Are, are you here to rescue me? He immediately drops Ren. Maybe. What were they asking you about? Well, thank you. And he uh, just falls into your arms, and he is at <laughs> least. You know, a good hundred fifty percent of your height. So he yeah. really, uh, puts his weight into it too. I just, uh, I I just freeze up, um, and I fall over like a, like a Ten like months. a possum. <laughs> you <Yeah>. know. <laughs> okay. Um, maybe you can tell us about um what happened here. What what were they asking you about? Well, they uh, they seemed convinced that I knew something about uh, the money that my father embezzled. Oh. But I don't. I I know nothing. 
And who is your father? Dagold Neverember, the former open lord of Waterdeep. Mm, this is not the guy we are looking for, then. This mm. was the boyfriend that picked him up from the bar. This is a different guy. Wait, like you left. you were yeah, sent... Re you were sent to rescue Fluden and not Yeah, Ren's me? gonna pull out the unicorn necklace. <laughs> this yours? <laughs> uh, no, that, that belongs to Fluden. Right. He's gonna pocket it in turn. All right, we got the wrong guy. Well, Loon <laughs> must be around here somewhere, though. Oh. Do you have anything for our dead friend? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, um, I, I'm afraid I don't. I'm sorry. Can you tell us if there is anybody else here in this warehouse right now? I, I don't know. I. The Zentarim were questioning me, and then they took my locket, and then they put me back down here and brought Floon up there, and then the Xanathar guild attacked, and I I just hid. Okay. I think that before mm. we go upstairs, it is a very good idea for us to take a little nap Especially because our friend right here, Shay, does not look very good. And maybe then we go upstairs and see if we can find Flume. Hmm. DM, can I roll a insight check to see if this is the kid that the note was talking about? And if the locket is the missing piece? Like, I want to see if, like, that would make sense. Um... You're trying to get that from insight on him? Yeah, like, because he was like, I'm missing the locket. Like, they took my locket. So would I be able to be like... Or at uh, least, I'll... like, the idea that he was being questioned for days, so he knows something, because the note implied that. Is he the kid from the note? Um, I'll say you don't even need a check to realize okay. that there's, there's a strong chance that, you know, they were questioning someone, they wanted something... They were questioning him. It's not a hard yeah. jump to make. Where's, uh... Where's Fluke? <laughs> well... He, he's probably still upstairs. Did anybody else go upstairs with him? Well, yes. The Zentarim took him up there to question him after they took my locket. Yeah. Uh, but then the Xanathar Guild attacked. Uh, I d don't know if he made it out, maybe? Well, what do, do you want to do? Do you want to go check and see? Well, I mean, he's your boyfriend, yeah? Yeah. He's not my boyfriend. He's we your boyfriend. No, he's your boyfriend. <laughs> Ren's nodding. He's like, "Yeah, <laughs> okay, dude. It's okay, dude. It's okay. You are among friends." I only had met him last night, honestly. You're one night stand, then. It's okay. Let's just uh, go see if we can find him upstairs. Yes, now or later. Well, I I should like to make sure your friend is okay first. Yes, me I too. I wouldn't want you to have suffered on my account. It is a uh, it is a problem. He uh, we were attacked, and our friend Shay is not. Uh, she's not looking very good. Is there anything you can do? Um. Well, I guess I would say I hid in here, and they didn't find me. So maybe mm. you should rest yeah. in here, just yeah. in case more of them show up. Um, Matilda runs up underneath Shay and with her little tiny hands just like pushes her whole body up against her and tries to move her into the yeah, closet. Ren's gonna come over and help. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, all right. Yeah, it, it takes a minute, but sure enough, you get Shay's body inside there. You're such a small closet. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, uh, Matilda crawls up on top of him and, uh, just crawls up and goes to sleep easily. 
Yeah, Ren's just standing outside for a little bit. <laughs> All right, are we go? Are we going in there? Yeah. All right. <laughs> I know you want to snuggle. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm alright. Right. <laughs> uh, Rudex says, I'll keep watch. Thank you! You're good. Um, so, go ahead and take long rests, everyone. Um, on your character sheets, if you see next to your hit points is your hit dice, and under your hit dice is the long rest button. All right. Um, so, uh, Shay, you awaken in a closet with a <laughs> possum sleeping on top of you. Um, I think Shay's natural when they're confused and scared and wake up in a place they don't understand. Their natural uh, inclination is just to shapeshift in something that looks pathetic and needs help. So they just okay. look like the palest, skinniest, like tears at, for me at the corner of their eyes, just like knock kneed little orphan boy, just like. <laughs> <laughs> and then they like try to scrabble out of the the closet. Okay. Yeah, Ren is sleeping enough. up against the door, like, and slumped <laughs> over like a dead body. He looks dead. <laughs> Jay does not have... So, okay. So not only... So he's he like... Really... I'm talking my man's like... <laughs> just out. <laughs> Wait, doesn't he trance because he's an elf? Does he's what? a half elf. Does he trance? Or, I no. don't know how, how... Okay, okay. Yeah, so yeah. I would... I mean, Shay would just also just kind of, like, use um, Ren as, like, a battering ram to push through the door. That they they get out of small space with strangers is their main goal. Um, <laughs> so they're just gonna run into Ren, basically. I assume that wakes me up. <laughs> yeah, it probably yeah, wakes me he's up. He's gonna instinctively grab whatever's running into him <laughs> and hold on. <laughs> <laughs> what? Um, if, if that's like a grapple, because. Shay would a hundred percent not like to be held. All right, uh, let's make an athletics situation. check against uh, Shay's acrobatics check. Then Jesus, dude, athletics—you don't even know. That's a negative one. You don't even know. Ooh, eighteen. <laughs> I got an eleven, so you're good. <laughs> All right, yeah, you uh, you effectively grapple Shay. Um, I guess Matilda's gonna wake up by now, and uh, just um. It's okay. Uh, you were asleep, and uh, now we put you in the closet to take a little rest. And um, now we are going to investigate more. Uh, we found Flume's boyfriend, and um, mm. we're going to see if we can find our missing person. But you need to... it's okay. You gotta change back because there's a uh... yeah. There's uh, there's uh, there's somebody outside, and they uh, saw you come in. So you gotta, you can't, no, no kids, no kids, no kids. Um, well, while this is happening, Shay's just sort of like, oh please, oh please, oh please, and realizes what's going on. Kind of drops it, goes, oh okay, and shapes just back. It, it, they weren't their like base state. They were, they looked like one of the gang members, which may be complicated because they did not. You froze. Very flattering. Oh no. I have to pay respects. I have to pay respects. F in the chat. Do we, are we putting an F in the chat? F in the chat. <laughs> Put an F in both chats just to. Yeah, both chats. F in every chat. <laughs> Russ <laughs> Oh no <laughs> I like to think that Russ is just like weird that everyone's saying F <laughs> <laughs> I'll stay it along <laughs> Okay. 
but only so, uh, one. In the meantime, uh, I drew down here and will move up to there a rough approximation of what that tattoo looks like. Oh, that did not move well. Okay, never mind. You're just gonna have to go down to where it is. <laughs> this yeah, right here, I see it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, good. right here. Have I seen that before? Can I roll something to see if I've seen that before? Um, make a history check, Matilda, if you're going to with advantage. Yeah. Okay. Uh, also, for future reference, when you roll advantage, it would it is preferable to click the plus button in chat, or if you want to shift click on something, that will roll with advantage. It used to um, uh, give me the option when I clicked it, but I did not expect it to not do it. Yeah, I, I changed it. Yeah. Okay. You, you yeah. have to shift click now or upgrade it in chat. I'll try to remember that. Um, so, uh, uh, the twenty one is certainly enough to recognize uh you've been out of water deep for a while ren but um in your time that in water deep um you occasionally came across this symbol it is the symbol of the xanathar guild okay hmm. not a thing mm. Is Shay up and moving? Is Russ likewise? I'm up and moving. Okay. Ah. Cool. Um. So does the does the dude have any reaction to me? Because like I I was saying before I caught uh, my internet went out. I still look like one of the gang members with like the snake with wings. Oh, I told you to change. Jeez. Well, never mind. I guess. I mean, I that's how I went in. I'm not gonna let this random guy know what I am. That's not how I function. <laughs> Um, he's probably a little bit, uh, sketched around you, but also realizes that his current perception is that Matilda and Ren saved him, and then also called you their friend. So he's okay. he's a little sketched out, because the Zentarim did kidnap him and uh, interrogate him rather forcefully, but he's trusting of Ren and Matilda. All right, I'm going to punch him on the shoulder and say, let's go find your boyfriend, huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, again, not my boyfriend, but sure. He's ah, your boyfriend. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, where do you guys go? Uh, up? Oh. <laughs> Is, it up has, the stairs? Have we... Like, have we fully explored this bottom level of the um of the warehouse? Um, I think Ren, I think Ren did. Okay. Cool. Uh, yeah. Let's book it. All right. Also, you said I the will... hand tattoo that was from the Xanathar Guild. Yes. <laughs> um. So once you are all on the stairs, I will momentarily delete you from existence Push you. and then bring you back over here excuse the grid being off kilter i will fix that right now cool all right so uh yeah you're going up the stairs I'm gonna hang a. Is this the door right here? This? Or oh, this is balcony, That's... okay. Gotcha. Yeah, this is the balcony. This is a cry... pile of crates. Gotcha. Okay. I'm gonna go into this door. What is this door? It's a door. I'm gonna mm. try to open this door. Okay, go ahead and open it. Can I you get You can click it? on it to open it. Uh, duh. Okay. Uh, 
So this Ooh. leads outside onto a uh, a little balcony to a a side door that is uh, a floor above street level out there. The balcony does not go that way. <laughs> Sorry. Wait, so Um in here is the you kid find following us or is he just uh I don't I just uh, don't want to leave. Yeah, he's following. Sorry. Uh -huh. No, it's, um, it's not urgent. I just don't want him to run off. Yeah. Uh, as you guys Wait. come in here, in fact, he says, uh, this is where they were interrogating me. Um, uh, Alistair. Yes. Could I... Is it... I mean, I know you said he said that thing, but would it be possible for me to um, close the door in his face? Be like, before he enters? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Um, Wait, is Ren in the room, or is Ren out there with him? It was here. Huh? He's like in the doorway. Like right before entering the room. He's not in the room. Okay. Um I, I lean over to Pintilda and I say, I don't I don't this this kid, I don't like how we're just innately trusting him. I could try and get some information out of him. Okay. What um, uh, what do you want to know from him? Well, there's that that note about about the missing piece and and the interrogation. I, I I he might if he has the missing piece, he might know more than he's letting on. Hmm. We can ask him questions here if you like. Well, I was gonna gonna turn to Flume for whatever his name is and use that as as a way to get him to spill his guts. Oh. Okay. Do you want to hide in this room over here? And uh, then we bring him in? Shay, you that have one. never seen Flume. Oh. Oh, wait. Oh, shoot. You're right. I thought we. Yeah, we were given a description. Yeah. No. Okay, never mind. Your shape changer straight stuff. specifically says that you cannot yeah. change into someone you've never seen. Yeah, okay. Um, Ren's just standing I... out there with the guy, like, <laughs> yep. <laughs> I poke my head out the door, and I'm like, Hey, hey, Ren, you wanna come? But you, new guy, stay there. Keep a lookout on our flank, or whatever. I, uh, I kinda don't wanna lose the, uh, the kid. I don't want him, I don't want him running off for nothing. That's smart. That's a good, that's a good <laughs> idea. Uh... Okay. I guess, well, fuck that plan. Um... Yeah, I, I mean, I, we I, can we can still ask him questions. I don't even yeah, but... think necessarily think we need to interrogate him unless he seems particularly that uninspired to divulge his information. I just don't trust anyone unless they're talking to someone that they trust. And usually I'm actually the person. I just don't know it. <laughs> so I guess also, uh, I didn't really get a good chance to describe this room that you guys are in. Uh, there's a desk down here with a candle and some papers on it. Um, a couple of drawers in the desk. Um, and also, yeah, it's in plain sight. You'd notice that... Um, on the floor next to the desk is a small locket. Oh. Mm. Okay. I'm going to snack that locket. Yeah. Um, so when Renair comes in, if you guys let him in, uh, he brings oh. up that this is where he was interrogated, and um, are you going to try and secretly grab the locket, or do you oh, let 100%. him see? Oh, 100%, yeah. Okay. Um, make a sleight of hand check. God damn it, I'm rolling so ass. Um, sleight of hand, that's 12. Yeah. Good enough, beats his passive perception. Cool. Okay, he doesn't yeah, I'm notice. Gonna I'm gonna slip that into my pocket. Here. <laughs> <laughs> so, tell me, you say that you only know Flume for a couple, just the one night that you met him? Yes, I, I just met him the other day. Why don't you tell us 
the nature of how you met and what happened after that? Well, uh, my good friend Volo uh, contacted me, said that uh, he had a friend at the Skewer Dragon who could use a drinking companion. Hmm. How how long have you known Volo? Years. Hmm. I'm gonna go into the door and close the door behind me. Wait, have I, I've seen Volo, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. Oh wait, no, not. That's that's too much. Never mind. Sorry. <laughs> it's too obvious. <laughs> Tell me, after you left the, the tavern, what happened? Well, we were on our way north, um, and we were ambushed by a group of Zentarim. And they brought us here and um, interrogated me for several hours, and, well, I've already told you the rest. Because on our way in here, we found a, a little dragon that was carrying a note. And it say this. I handed the note to him so that he can read it. I know they were, as they were interviewing me. I, they're convinced I'd know something about my father's money. I don't. So money, you think, is the reason for this? Right. I forget that you're not. Potentially in the know on this. Um, it recently came out that my father allegedly embezzled quite a bit of money from the city when he was the open lord and allegedly stored it in a vault somewhere here in the city. There is currently a grand game going on to find my father's half million dragons. Hey, uh, Alistair. Yes. Um, a while ago, I exited, um, ran down the stairs, um, shapeshift into Volo, and I'm gonna be sure. running back up those stairs. Okay. And into the room. Um, and I'm gonna, gonna hug the kid and be like, oh, it's so good to see you. I'm so happy you're safe. All right, make a deception check. With advantage. With advantage? Oh, that's, I gotta... Whatever nineteen plus my deception is, um, that's a uh, twenty-six. Uh, yeah, he's going to roll insight real quick. Yep, and he's going to say, "Volo, oh. what are you doing here?" That fantastic elf, uh, better than all else like of her kind uh she went in she went and got me uh as soon as as soon as um she had a chance how sweet I'm, to... i've been worried sick about you my boy <laughs> well it's very nice to hear although i must admit i would have expected you to be more concerned about flu um but also i want to when i'm when i'm hugging him i want to look at matilda and just like give the biggest like wink you know just like sure this yeah. is me i'm not flume or whatever <laughs> Zumba, Zumba. and is completely confused for a second and it's just like he's not saying anything he's just looking he's like whack <laughs> oh wow this dude with this shitty hat in here <laughs> <laughs> well we are very concerned about floon and uh that is why our friend went to get volo so that we can come here and figure out what maybe happened to him. Um, could I, I wanna, uh, like, can I whisper? It doesn't actually have to be so the others can't hear me, but just, like, to give the appearance of I'm trying to be secretive. Um, hmm? Uh, okay. <laughs> actually, never, never mind, I'll do that later. Okay. Um. Actually, no, I'll do it now. I just wanna. I wanna ask him. Yeah, 
these are hired muscles. Like they can't be. What, what did you say? I said, um, you haven't told them anything, right? These are hired muscle. I mean, they're good for days work, but they can't be trusted. Oh, well, what is there to tell them? I don't know anything, Bolo. Your boy. <laughs> what are you talking about, Bolo? Anything you might have that would help secure your alleged father's alleged father. <laughs> All right, I'm going to have you make another deception check. Um, this one, I'm not going to let you have advantage on, because this is a Fair. pretty wild thing to be saying, so normally you'd get disadvantage, so it cancels out and you have a straight roll. Cool. Um, deception. That's a 15. <laughs> Ooh. And he is going to... You're not Volo. I go. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What's going on here? Oh, was that? He Why, says to anyone still go? in here in the room. <laughs> where? <laughs> it's too early for this. I need. We gotta go to the bar or something. I really. Matilda, I don't like this. <laughs> there's, there's all these bolos and <laughs> there's a foont running around. And I, just... Listen, I... I don't know who you are, but I... Could you help me look for my locket? I, I just hope they didn't take it. It's very precious to me. Oh, we can help you uh, look for your locket. Why is it so precious to you? My father gave it to me to mourn for my mother. It's a mourning locket. Oh, fuck. <laughs> she I is stole terrible. his mourning locket. <laughs> <laughs> you came in, pretended to be his friend, went woo 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 left <laughs> with his mourning right locket. <laughs> with a picture uh, of his dead say, mother in it, probably. Uh, you picked it up so fast that I uh, didn't describe it properly, but I should have. Um... It's uh so it's it's a it's a morning locket. It does open up. It's got this picture of a woman on the inside, um, but on the other side, the the lid half, um, there's weirdly where you found it, it like folds folded out again, and mm -hmm. there seems to be what is a secret compartment inside the lid of the locket. Okay, um. Is that like, is it accessible? Do I need to like thieves tool it? It's or... already open. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, yeah. It's empty? Yeah, it's empty. Okay. Um, I'm going to return to Shay um, with the locket in my pocket. Okay. Um, uh, and say, like, oh, some weird fucking guy going woof, woof, just ran past me um but i found this on the floor outside and i handed make a deception the check make a deception okay, check that's right. <laughs> uh that's a 21 uh his insight is 19 plus zero you're lucky oh my god yeah <laughs> but I'm, I'm gonna hand him back his uh morning locket doppelgangers in this city <laughs> Crazy, right? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> uh, oh, you found it. Uh, thank you. What is your name? Uh, Renevere. Renevere. Oh. Renevere. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Thank you very much. I shall always remember the name Renevere. <laughs> <laughs> so glad. Might have fucked myself. <laughs> Uh, so when you handed it to him, did you close the secret compartment before giving it back? Um, no. Uh, so he's uh, he gets so caught up in thanking you that he doesn't even look at the locket. And then when he looks at it, he says, wait, what's this? I didn't know this was here. Who was the one who took your locket from you? Uh, the Zentarm agents when they were 
uh, interrogating me. They tore it off my neck. And then they stopped and started interrogating Floon. I suppose they found what they were looking for. It was just popped open on the floor like that when I found it. They probably took something out of it then. Can we check out the... Yeah, I was about to say... Yeah, I'm checking out these rooms. I want to check out the next room. Uh, yeah, they're, they're pretty much empty. Um, in fact, uh, the one is retrofitted with chains uh, that clearly were not original to the building. <laughs> ah, any evidence of where Fluke might have gone? <laughs> um, make an investigation check. Ooh, no, good I am an investigator. Just... Just tell us, Alistair. Don't make us do these. Don't make us jump through <laughs> the roof. Just tell us the so answer. So good. Investigating. Ten. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, there's not really much in here. You can tell the people um, have been in here. You can't really tell specifically who or... He might have been here. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. We um, really gotta... I don't... Look, I gotta clear my head. We've been... I don't like it. I... I agree... Maybe we take our friend to a tavern and discuss. Before we leave, I look to see if there are any... Uh, because Floon was here, and now he is not. And I wish to investigate how he exited this building. Okay, I'm sorry, can you repeat that? <laughs> yeah, so... I'm I'm checking out everything around up here in this top part, and I just I'm looking for evidence of Floon being here and where okay. he is since he's not here anymore. Obviously. All right. Um. Make an investigation check. Ugh. Seven. Where'd you? Uh. Yeah. Action. You don't really find much, but um. As you guys are um, looking around for any information where Floon may be, you'd notice. Renair's face kind of goes sullen, and he starts. Oh no! What? 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 Up? When the Zentarum took Floon, right after they took Floon, as soon as they had what they wanted from me. I think the Xanathar Guild wanted me. They may have taken Floon, thinking that he was me. That's not good. Oh, because uh, you're an uglier version of him. Yeah. Well, okay, <laughs> now. But uglier. Yeah. Where would you're they take bad. him? You're like a stick. <laughs> That's the hey now. Wow. I'm a, a nope in this city. Thank you. Renevere. The name's Renevere. <laughs> <laughs> Granite, Granite, who? Ren, Renavir. Wait, that's fuck, my name. That's name. <laughs> yeah, but mine's longer. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Where would they take him? Oh, I can't say I know. Well, maybe we go and get some refreshments at the mm -hmm. tavern. We should go talk to. Uh... The guy, the guy with the fucking hat. Yeah, Saint Germain. <laughs> no, uh, 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 Volo. Uh, yeah, that one. Oh right, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, can I do an insight into the kid? Insight check. Uh, yeah, kid? go for it. Okay. Um, I think that's a fifth. Uh, uh, seventeen. Uh, yeah, he is genuinely concerned for. Flume. Alright, I think we should get him to a bar or something. Yeah, I think we should find that boy who paid us to find his boy. Yeah, well, we gotta go get Volo. Because they know each other too, so they can have a good discussion. Yeah. Uh, Renard's gonna say, you don't think you should go and try and find him as soon as possible? Yes! I do. Do we drop you off? Is there a daycare? <laughs> <laughs> nice. I high five Ren. <laughs> He looks at it, and it goes up <laughs> slowly. <laughs> well, if you're not going to try to find Floon, I'll do it myself. Well, where would you start? Well, to look. 
Kid, well, you just got kidnapped. I don't think you're up for it. I don't imagine they took him willingly. They would have had to drag him. They I may have... I don't know. Look outside? Oh, yeah. Outside. Okay. <laughs> 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 you so, uh... Outside is that out the window? Or, like, the warehouse? The warehouse. Like, oh, in fair. the courtyard area, I guess? When we go downstairs, Ren is going to grab Matilda and pull her over to the guy with the um, tattoo on his hand um, and point it out to her and just be like, this is, uh, this is not good. This is, uh, that's from the Xanatar Guild. They're a bunch of fucking assholes. Yeah. Oh, boy. Um, I will also say that, um, Ren, you suspect the Xanathar Guild of some connection with the tragedy in your backstory. Yeah. Yeah, I know. That's why he's pissed. Yeah, good. Alright. So, uh, I'm not gonna make you guys move out to the courtyard. Uh, what, what are y'all doing out there? Looking for drag marks. Yeah, I'm All also... Right. signs of struggle. I'm also um, gonna look for make... um, uh, pearls, the pearls from the unicorn necklace. All right, make uh, a survival check if you're looking for, looking to follow their tracks, um, and a um, uh, an investigation check if you're looking for pearls. Very cool. Twelve. Um, 10, you can't really get a hold on anything, and, um, with a 12, you guys followed the pearls to get here. Uh, here is where they end. Okay. Um. Well, first off, I'm gonna light up my, um, lantern again. I can't okay. See yep. Um. You know, there are ways to make it do this automatically. But that would require me to do stuff. I, I couldn't uh, ask that of you. That's, that's too hard. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... Yeah, uh, uh... 10 isn't enough to find drag marks. I think Renard's also going to make a survival check. The wow. The map is really yeah, glitching he... out for me. It's glitching out? Yeah, it's like flashing on my screen. Better? No. It might hmm. be the, the lantern being weird. Yeah. Like of... So, in what way is it flashing? The whole entire map is flashing on and off of my screen. Hmm. Okay. What's happening now? It is still doing that. We don't need this map anymore. I'm okay. Gonna do this. What is happening now? Uh, it says loading city map. Okay. And now the city map is flashing on and off of my Ooh. screen. Uh, you wanna you wanna try refreshing or closing whatever you have open and sure. putting the link in again? Uh huh. Yeah, mine looks fine. Okay. Uh, that might have done it. Okay. Um, so yeah, Renair uh, makes his survival check and says, Look, here. Um, and finds manages to find some drag marks. Mm. Good job. Um, Alistair, you, you oh. cut out. Yeah. He would appear to be gone. You guys, Gonzo. You never have a good session. You can never have a clean one. <laughs> never, <laughs> ever. All right, so uh, you see those tracks now. What's going on? Following them tracks. All right. Um, so they lead uh, just about halfway up uh, Candle Lane here. And uh, here they lead to a little manhole cover. Mm. I'm going to 
gonna try to lift up that ma manhole cover. Mm, gross. Uh, yeah, easy enough. You lift it up. I'm gonna sniff around with my little baby possum nose and see what I can smell. Okay, make a perception check. Okay. Specifically, I'm looking... <laughs> That's a two. I guess it doesn't matter what I'm looking for. <laughs> it's for sure a sewer down there. Cool, it does thank smell you. Like one. Uh, so, uh, we're heading down, right? Yeah. Oh, God. Matilda just scurries right on down. <laughs> uh, would Run. you like me to come with you? Uh, I don't know. What do we, what do we think? I've, I've died twice in, like, a day, so if we have a little extra muscle, I won't say no. Yeah. Right. Yep. The boyfriend can come. Okay. Um, so, uh, you are now down in the sewers. Um, so as you go around, uh, yeah, so you follow the sewers for a while, um, and then you get to an intersection, uh, and you have two choices of which way to go. Is there anything at all different between these two um, avenues? Make a perception trip. Okay. Oh my god, why am I rolling like garbage? It's five. Um, I rolled it's a, With a 19 perception, you notice... Um, the guild sign of the Xanathar Guild. Uh, it is between the two passageways, and the uh, the pupil of the eye, if you will, is pointing towards one of the passageways. Okay. Um, I'd say we follow the pupil. I mean, we're, we're looking for the Xanathar Guild. Uh, yeah. Makes sense. I agree. Also, I'd like to scratch out the pupil um, as we're walking. Okay. <laughs> Easy enough. Um, so you go through the sewers. Uh, you, It takes a while. Uh, there's the... Waterdeep is a big city, and they have an extensive sewer system underneath their streets. Um, it There are a lot of intersections. Um most of which have a guild sign. Um, for the few of which that don't, I am going to require a... We'll call it another survival check to see if you can figure out which way they went. Is that for all of us? Uh, I will let two of you make it or one of you make it with advantage for help. I've got a plus four. Yeah, I've got a plus four too. I got a zero, so it's probably shouldn't be me. Oh, wait, sorry. For survival? Yeah, yeah, plus four. Yeah. Okay. Nice. 14. It's 18. Uh, yeah, 18. You find your way pretty easily. Cool. Uh, and after um, a few hours, even, in these sewers, you eventually get to um, a point. There's another intersection where it, uh, it yeah, <laughs> I'll talk about that guy in a second. Uh, I like there's another like, intersection this? here. <laughs> uh, and in the middle of the intersection, there there's a ladder, as you can see, uh, leading upwards, uh, probably up to the street or into some building. Uh, and there is also another guild sign on this wall. Uh, it is looking this way. Mm. Uh, and in front of it, there is um, a small creature not dissimilar to um, the one that was hanging, the the stuffed one in the Zoblob shop. Mm -hmm. Oh, the beholder? Yes. Okay. Uh, it looks like a very small beholder with four short, chonky eye stalks. It's I'm about gonna... the size of a grapefruit. I'm going to try to crab it in my hands. Uh, it, we're going to roll initiative before you have the chance to do that. Aww. So I'm going to ask you guys to go back to where you were. Bop, 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 bop. 
it it looks at you and uh, immediately bears its teeth. Well, I'm gonna bear so... my teeth right back at it. All right. Um, Ren is first. What are you doing? Oh, crazy. All right. Uh, I've never had this many spells available before. <laughs> um, not a person. Oh, so the uh, the spells thing that's in there, it's probably showing you all of the spells. Yeah, on no, I know. I got. I only have the prepared one. I mean, I oh, have good. full two spell slots, and I'm excited about yeah. that. Right. <laughs> potential. Um. Hmm. I am. I am going to cast Shalele, um as a bonus action, and okay. I think I'm just going to run up and try to fucking deck him. All right, go for it. We're going after the guild, baby. He's little, right? He's he's little. He's a little little man. Uh, nineteen is gonna hit. This is lovely. Fuck. Eight bludgeoning damage. All right. Um, and then it is the gazer's turn. And the gazer. Um, it's, it's going to use some eye rays and I'm going to roll to see, oop, that's weird. Huh. It's not letting me put eye rays in chat. Um, so I'm going to roll to see which eye rays it uses. Uh, the frost ray and the fear ray. So uh, both of these are going to be aimed at Ren. So Ren, make mm -hmm. a DC 12 dexterity saving throw and also a, a DC 12 wisdom saving throw. You can also just click the button in chat. Lovely. So uh, you succeed the deck save, oh, and I'm the uh, the frost down. ray uh, passes over you. Um, wow! Yeah, and the uh, wisdom save also just doesn't even phase you. It does hit you, but doesn't my man is do here for anything. blood. <laughs> yeah. Uh, next up is Matilda's turn. Uh, I'm gonna try to pop him with my slingshot. Okay, go for it. Oh my god, that's a two. Yeah, that's gonna miss. Jeez Louise, macaroni and cheese. Alright, I'm gonna try to flank him. I'm gonna flank him. Can I flank him? Um. Yeah, sure. Okay. I'll call that flanking. That is my move. Okay. Next up is Shay. Okay. Fuck. We're all rolling like <laughs> garbage Yeah, today. That's, that's gonna miss. <laughs> I'm gonna kill this man, and I'm excited about it. All right, it is Ren's turn. With dad rage, dude. <laughs> with, with dad rage. Also, I'm sure you know, but that um, the the damage I'm dealing is magic for what it's yes. worth. Yes. Mm -hmm. Does uh, that hit? Seventeen. Uh yes, it does. Please kill him. It'll be so funny. Yeah. Fine. Your uh, your quarter staff oh, just comes down and whacks him right out of the air. Uh, <laughs> into the uh, murky waters of the sewer. I'm gonna spit on him. <laughs> like, I know it's into the water, just like into the water. Mm -hmm. I'm sad that you guys didn't talk at all during that combat though, because the best thing about gazers is their mimicry feature. Oh, oh yeah? Yeah. Well, the gazer can mimic speeches. Huh? Sorry. I was I was doing, um, I didn't realize, I was doing, um, dialogue. Don't <laughs> Oh, sorry. Oh no! Please go for it. I was just uh, okay. I, I turned to Ren and say, "You, you all right? You, what? <laughs> you, I don't know. You seem kind of pissed." <laughs> yeah, it's um, it's uh, I haven't had my drink yet. Early. <laughs> Can I do insight on that answer? <laughs> sure. I'm gonna. Can I roll deception to counter that? Sure. Mm 
Very cool, Ren. Very cool. Uh, yeah, no, that totally passes. <laughs> we'll get you a drink, buddy. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe there is drink. Where are we going? Mm. We went, we're going this way, right? Yeah, that's where the eye is pointing. Okay, let's see. Uh, but this is just a small map for that one intersection. So as you will see, that ends. And I will oh, instead it. activate... You just die here. Uh, uh, after a short <laughs> amount more of tunnels, uh, not nearly as long as you have been going in these sewers, um, just another few minutes, you get to here. Hmm. Okay. What it would. What's all this then? I mean, it's still just a sewer, as far as you can oh. see right now. <laughs> hmm. Uh, these are passages that go under the sewer. Don't look at those. Okay. Don't worry about it. Right. If Matilda stop, Ren is just gonna push faster and just keep going. Yeah, I'm moving still. Whoa. Here we go. My man's booking it. So uh, as you get up to here, I'm going to ask you guys to stop there. Uh -huh. um, so you notice that um, around here, before you're even in this little uh, vestibule area, there's um, you notice that there's an arrow slit right here. Right, right here? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. And no other this markings. This portion of the tunnel well lit. Uh, by the lantern that's in it right now. Yes. Mm. Where's the lantern? It's my lantern. Um. I think it might be a good idea for me to put out the lantern, seeing as yeah. we're going into a violent gang's territory. But I'm gonna stay in the middle of you two because I don't. Have... Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go left. Yeah, I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna go left. Like this. To avoid that arrow hole. And then down like this. Wait. What are you. Let's go. I'm trying to get the lantern light to go away. Oh, it's off. Not on it's my still screen. on on my screen. Yeah, oh, there we go. It's off on mine. Okay. Yeah, weird glitches with you moving while I'm trying to edit your token. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so there, uh, as Matilda, as you come around, you notice that there's another arrow slit Good here. Um, and this is a little platform next to the sewer. Uh, and there's a door here, as you can see. I'm going to open this here door. Okay. I'm going to peek my little head in. And I'm going to see uh, that there's that's an another arrow slit, arrow slit here. <laughs> yeah. Can I, I'm, I'm being sneaky and trying to avoid detection. Do you want me to make a stealth check for it? Yeah, make a stealth check. Okay. It's going to be garbage. 13. Okay. Okay. Open this here door. All right. So in here there are um, it. There's uh, some clothing littering the floor. Um, a few like rusty weapons. Just kind of a mess in here. In this area here. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna go up then. And I'm gonna see uh, that up here you can <laughs> see where those arrow slits lead to, and right here there is a sleeping goblin. I'm gonna give him a jab with my... Um, I, I'm gonna whisper to Matilda and Ren that I speak goblin. Do I speak goblin? Sorry, let me check. I think I do. You speak goblin, yeah. Okay, yeah. I mean... Do we really have to bash him right now? We can try to get information from him if you think he is helpful. I mean... That's so funky. Hey, 
Either way, we have the element of surprise on our side. So what do you think? Maybe we surround him and wake him up and stand over him and ask it the question. What what question would you like to ask him? I guess where's Lily? Hmm. We can try it. Alright. All right. So you're gonna wake him? I'm gonna poke him with my javelin. Okay. And I'm just going to leave um, it there, like, eh. right in front of his face. Eh. 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 <laughs> Hi, guy. Uh, <laughs> who are you? Uh, we're friends. No. No. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, no. <laughs> Do you speak Goblin, Ren? No, this isn't Goblin. I, maybe he just it? his no to himself. Because the, the goblin also does speak common. Yeah, well, I mean, speaking... if he's starting in common, I'm speaking common. If he starts in goblin, I'm speaking goblin, basically. He probably would have started in common, unless you would have. Okay. okay. Yeah. Then, yeah, this is in common. Did a very handsome rich boy come around this way? <laughs> and I'm gonna have us roll initiative. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, I have a I have a freaking net out. I should have put the net on him. Oh, there's two god oh shit. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no. Um so he is going to um he's gonna He's going to take out his scimitar and slash as best he can. Um, probably, I think he's going to slash the one that said, no, we're not friends. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. So that's nine slashing damage. Yeah. Ren's, Ren's not looking good. <laughs> <laughs> Ren's looking really bad. He just got stabbed in the stomach. And now it is Ren's turn. Alright, in response to that, I don't think I have anything, any spells that wouldn't kill my friends around me, so I'm not going to use any of those. Uh, I am going to, would you believe that you should let it again? Um, try to whack this boy. Uh, yeah, 21 hits. Funk. Oh, for maximum damage. Yeah, yeah, you just immediately bonk the life out of him. Ow. Um, and then, um, if you guys keep hanging around at all, even though he's dead, um, after a second, you are uh, going to receive a a very Hail Mary shot. <laughs> uh, this goblin is going to make an attack roll from which you have three quarters cover. Um, yeah, and big miss. Uh, so an arrow, you hear an arrow strike the outside of this arrow slit that you guys are now inside. Okay. Are we still in initiative order? Uh, you don't have to be, no. Okay. Um, I can't see shit. I'm not going to do anything. Okay. Uh, I think I'm just going to go over here. Okay. Um, level one, we're so squishy. Why? Wait, did we just split up? I don't oh, know where anyone open. is. Oh, okay. I'm gonna stick with you. Okay, I see what you want. <laughs> I'm 
I'm gonna stay at the back of the train. Um, okay. <laughs> oh right, yeah, because you're looking. I have a single hit point. Uh, oh yeah. Girl. Okay. Cool. Um, so this area has um, some tattered mattresses around. Um, Many. Six. Mm. I am actually gonna cast cure wounds on you. <laughs> okay. Ah, lovely. Back to full. Yeah, much better. Oh boy. Uh, so when you open this door, you see uh, this guy uh, desperately uh, barricading this door with um, furniture. What manner of creature is this? This is a Duragar, although you might not know that. Matilda might not know okay. that. Okay. Does does oh. Matilda know anything about th this creature? Um, probably not, but I think I'm going to have us roll advantage when you, or roll initiative when you come in. Okay. Um, so I'm going to move y'all back to around where you mm -hmm. started. And then... Is he just standing there? Does he look aggressive? He's, he's doing everything he can, piling up furniture to barricade this door. The one that we're, not the one we're coming through though. No. Yeah. The one that he's standing at. Um, and then as soon as he sees you, he um, draws his little war pick. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right. Ren's first. Um, I'm going to hold. Hmm. <laughs> what am I going to do? So he did. He did draw a weapon, though, right? Yes. All right. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, eight. I can get two more. Uh, I'm gonna. Would you believe it? I'm gonna cast Shelly Light, and then I'm gonna bonk him. Okay, go for it. Oh no. Fourteen is not gonna hit. All right, and now it is Shay's turn. Cool, cool, cool. I'm going to uh, toss my net out. Okay, go ahead and click net in from your inventory. Roll net, Brad. Uh, oh, Brad. yeah, nineteen hits. Hey. Uh, and he needs to save on the strength or be restrained, right? Yeah, let me. Um. I'll... Oh so no, the save. The save is a check to get out. So he's he's automatically restrained. That save didn't exist. Okay. Uh, but yeah, he he's restrained there now. Net. 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 Uh, and then it's Matilda's turn. I'm gonna just come on up here and give him a boop. Uh, yeah, that's gonna hit. Nice. Get him, Matilda. Get Beautiful. this man just in a room by himself. <laughs> that's fully restricted. You're just beating a tied yep. down man. <laughs> yep. Get him. <laughs> okay. Still alive. Oh, dang. Okay. Uh, that's gonna be it for my turn. Okay. And then it is his turn. Um, he's gonna use his action to try and escape from the net. Uh, and he does. So he is no longer restrained. But that is the end of his turn. I guess we've already hit him, right? There's probably no, probably no making peace. Well. Bonk. <laughs> 15 misses. Bonk. Just try to bonk him. <laughs> yep. 
Now it is Shay's turn. Can I try to re-net him? <laughs> um... Actually... I'll let you use your... object... No. I think I just want to. I just want to attack him. I haven't actually stabbed anyone, and I want to give that a go. It sounds fun. It's fun. Well, that misses. Cool. Mm -hmm. uh, then it is Matilda's turn. All right, let's mm -hmm. just keep bonking, I guess. Seventeen. Yeah, that hits. That's my Get him, Matilda. <laughs> nice. How's he looking? Uh, still up. Oh boy. Oh damn. Yeah. Um, and then on his turn, he is going to, um, attack Matilda. Uh oh yeah, he he's gonna do that. Oh. Oh Jesus. No, it's not all those. It's just um. Oh, it's just the top one. It's so just five piercing. Okay. All right, and then it is Ren's turn. Guys, I'm gonna switch it up. I'm gonna bonk him, but I'm gonna try to do it across his face instead of on That's directly great. on top of his fucking head. <laughs> All right. Roll damage. That hits. Bonk. All right, yeah, that kills. He says bonk too, but like under <laughs> his breath. Yep. Bonk, bonk. Alistair, with the with the barricading, was it like? So he's trying to keep this door closed. Yes. Okay. Can I like listen to the other side of that door to see what's if I can m make out what is on the other side? Sure. Make a perception check. Okay. Can I make a perception check to see if he's got the tattoo on him? The Xanathar tattoo? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, it, it would take a minute to try and take off all his armor. Oh, okay. Hmm. Um, with a perception seven, you don't uh, hear anything? Yeah, I didn't think so. Hmm. Can I go through his pocket? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, let me... Uh, yeah, he doesn't have any treasure, but he does have some armor. <laughs> I was hoping for whatever was in the locket, but, you know, that's... I That, that was a little bit of a high shot for that one. Hmm. Yeah, you don't find anything. Okay. I feel curious about what's through this door. What do we, what do you think he was, uh, barricading? I really, really want to open that door, and I know that's a bad idea, and also that I don't have impulse control, but I really want to open the door. Maybe we open this one first and see if it leads to the same, the same place? And okay. if, if not, we can come back and open the other door. It'd be really stupid to barricade one door. Yeah. That's a very fair point. I mean, he didn't look very smart. This is true, he's dead now. <laughs> Hell yeah. Might be we open this door. Yeah. Yeah. This door do not lead to the other door. Do we want to go this way or look at oh, the other door? But what's Ooh, but what's in the other room? <laughs> I want to know what's in the other room, though. I do, too. Can I try to perceive what's on the... If I hear any growling or I'll, anything? I'll let you make a perception check. Guys, keep in mind, we have that inspiration. Oh, we do. Um, we really want to use that. That's true. But, like, I'm not sure if now is the time. Ah. The 13, I'll say you hear... um doesn't sound unlike it sounded out in the sewer portion of this area of um, just you know kind of liquid do <laughs> you hear water all right so uh 
I think he, uh, some I think liquid. We'll say it sounds significantly more viscous than water. Maybe somebody's peeing. I think it is poop yeah. water. It hmm? could be really runny shit though. Yeah. Uh, sounds kind of um, thick. Plumpy. <laughs> more so than water. I like, think it really... is poop. I don't yeah, know if I want to open the poop door. Hey, Ren. Ren? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You, want open the you want to open the poop door? <laughs> I mean, Olivia knows that there's going to be some shit behind there. <laughs> but, like, I also want to know. Are you all right? Hell yeah. Poop door. Matilda just, like, hides behind the threshold of this doorway. <laughs> okay, so uh, as you uh, unbarricade this door and open it, um, you see uh, two dead goblins on the floor and um, this weird ooze standing over them. And we're going to roll initiative. Oh, boy. All right, Matilda's first. Somehow I'm first. Okay. I'm just gonna, um... Hop over here. Hop on Shay's shoulders. Hop on Ren's shoulders. Catapult myself from there. And with a maul in hand, I'm gonna jump off of Ren's shoulders and on right in front of this guy and I want to smash him with my maul. Uh, this guy right here. The the goblins are dead. Oh, the goblins are dead. Alright. This guy right here. Okay. <laughs> guys probably shouldn't have opened this door. Seems like a bad idea. <laughs> I think that was a bad idea, guys. A 14? Uh, 14 hits. Oh, cool. Eight bludgeoning damage. Uh, okay. Um, would I take an opportunity attack if I backed up out through the door? Yes, you would. I'm gonna do it anyway. Okay. Yeah, that hits. Nineteen to hit. Two bludgeoning and five acid. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, and then it's going to come down here, and it's going to uh, make another attack. 13 to hit? Nope. Ren? Nope. All right. Uh, and then it is Shay's turn. Um, can I... Would I be able to light a torch and then hit the thing with a torch? I'm, I want to attack it with fire, is what I'm saying. Uh, you can... It would take more than your action to okay, lay the torch. Um, in that case, I'm gonna back up and shoot at it with, or with my bow. That will have disadvantage, because you don't have dark vision. Yeah. Uh, well. Uh, so when you... Attack with disadvantage instead of attacking twice. You can control click, or you can just attack once, and then you see the roll in chat, the little minus button that's there? Yeah. You can click that, and then it'll... Yeah. Got it. Um, cool. But regardless, uh, your rolls were 14 and 24 and 14 hits. Oh, oh well, are you not going to go with the 8, eight and 14? No, because your first rolls were 14 and 4. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Alright. Nine piercing. I think that's the first damage I've dealt at all in this interview. <laughs> Yay! So oh. proud of Shay! And then it is Ren's turn. Right. Uh, sorry, I'm just try I'm trying to get him straight. Ah, oh, fuck. No, he'll just be a little bit. That's fine, Ren. Just do what you want. Um... 
Yeah, I don't really want to waste this spell slot, so I'm going to shillelagh and then bonk him. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep, that hits. Lovely. Bonk. Ten. All right. Uh, yeah, that's enough. Woo! Mm -hmm. Shay's just weird. still ready to shoot another arrow. They can't see shit. <laughs> Shay! Uh, yeah. Uh, Ren Renegweer, put the... No, it's, it's good. Shit. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's, uh... Dead. Poop room wasn't too bad. Yeah. Uh, anything interesting on these here goblin bodies? Um, I don't believe so. That was just fully, we were just like, yep, bonk. <laughs> yeah, uh, they're basically bones at this point. They've been in here with a gray ooze that's just been eroding away at them. Mm. Can I roll nature on gray ooze to see if I know anything about him? Sure. <laughs> Uh, yeah, they're essentially, um, hang on, let me get the exact quote. Um, a gray ooze is stone turned to liquid by chaos. Nice. Is that... It's a vague and nebulous definition, but that's what they are. I'm going to interpret that as Renwood. Some crazy must have happened here. It was a party. Kids <laughs> out partying. Yeah. And, uh, they melted the wall. Yeah. yeah. What? <laughs> they Tried partied to... too hard. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, she, she gets I'm it. gonna grab a goblin bone on our way out. Alright, that's, uh... That's easy enough. Very okay. good of you. Alright, so, um... Where to next? Um, I guess we're going down the other doorway, right? Yeah. <clears throat> I'm at, uh, way less than half health. <laughs> Are you? Do you need healing? Yeah, I just need a little. Okay. Also, don't uh, forget you can shift for extra temp HP. Yeah. How how poorly are you just because I only have one spell slot left? Um, I'm five out of 17, so maybe I'll just shift if we enter a new encounter. Okay. And then, because I kind of want to save it in case somebody goes down. Yeah, that's true. Oh, boy. I'm peeking through this door and I see some boys. Yeah, you do. There's a big, there's a big boy down there. There's a big boy down there, you guys. How big? He's, he's a big boy, but I think our that's friend is down there. Good. So from up there, you don't see Flume. Oh, okay. Uh, all you see is um, a robed orc, um, and you can just barely see its head because of um, where these stairs are and where everything is positioned. Ren's going to lean down to Matilda. Is that one of the kids that was partying, we think? I think that was one of the kids who was partying. All right, we got to teach I got to go. Things. Sorry, something. I'm not, I'll be right back. Do we want to okay. engage this person right now? Um, it's probably not a good idea to sleep in the sewers. Yeah, I yeah. agree. Those are probably. I thought we Sorry had a. I thought we had that buddy no with us. Where's our buddy? Yeah. Oh right, he did come with you, huh? Yeah, he did. Sorry, I forgot about that. That's okay. So that Not gives that he's us, extremely yeah. useful in combat. I mean, he's a person who can soak up some damage. <laughs> I guess so. We don't want him to die. <laughs> if need be, though, we could use him as a sponge for kids <laughs> and stuff. Um, <laughs> so what I could do is hit him with my slingshot from far away and surprise him. We could try and set up a trap. We could try to set up a trap. 
That's a good idea. How big is he, Matilda? How how big does he look? Uh, Alistair, how big does he look? I can, I can only see the top of his head. Does that give me an indication of how tall he is? Uh, it's hard to judge. Um, make a perception check. Okay. Fourteen. Um, he looks actually kind of small for a half orc. Do I know that he's a half orc? Say so. Yeah. Okay. He is a half orc and mm. rather small for a half orc. So maybe between the three of us, we can or the four of us, we we can get him and it is okay. But how, if you want to make a trap, would you like to do it? So. Is this passageway, is there water on the ground? Like, is, there, yes. is it dry? There is it's water, dry. but there's a, a little uh, intersection of, of water, that's, right? Or no? No, that's that's above. That's above, okay, just um, kidding. Yes. So, I have um, iron spikes and oil. If we can do something like set up an oil trap, and when he gets into it, set him on fire or something like that. Um, Terrible. <laughs> Do you have a lit torch on you car- that you're carrying right now, Shay? No, no, no. My, my, I, my, I'm still um, candle, or I mean, uh, flame without any light source. Sorry. Okay. Um, I was gonna say we could put if there was water, we could have put the spikes on the ground and have him like run towards us and run over us. But he's just gonna see iron spikes mm. on the ground if we try that. Yeah. Um. Uh, Alistair, is the door, like, is it, like, a conventional door? The door that you're at right now? Yeah. Yeah. Um, let me check. Do I have a bucket? Does anyone have a bucket? I... I have a torch, rations, water Mm -hmm. skin. I have have rope. I was gonna say we should... We could do a um a classic like bucket full of something on top of the drawer, <laughs> door, open it up, it spills on you. Yeah. Um, I don't think that's gonna work though. Never mind. Okay. Renair well, is uh, starting to look very uh impatient and uh irritated with these antics. I mean I can I mean I can try to at least get a surprise on him and hit him try to hit him with my slingshot. Okay. Uh, do I have to get closer to him to do that? Um, what is the range of a slingshot? What is the range? Sling is 30 to, uh, the long range is 120 feet. Uh, you are, the short, the normal range is only 30 feet. So if you attack him, he's 45 feet away. So you'd have disadvantage. I would like to get a little bit closer to him. Is that better? One more. Okay. That is. I'll do it from there. Okay. Does a 19 hit? Uh, it does. Nice. Roll damage. God damn it. Three. All right. Uh, and now we are going to roll initiative. Yep. Uh, I will also say as you creep closer to this, um, you notice a few other creatures in that room. Uh, you still don't have the position to see Flume, um, mm-hmm. but you do notice that farther down in the chamber... Uh, actually, do you have the dark vision range to see this? You do. Mm-hmm. Um, on another one, there is uh, a creature sitting on what looks to be a throne, and this creature, instead of a mouth, has four tentacles... Uh, purple skin, kind of octopus-like. Oh my god! And, and on its lap is a um, a little what looks like a brain with four legs. Oh boy! That is, we Just need a to quadrupedal go. <laughs> brain. So, for those of you who under who know this word, it is a mind flayer and an intellect devourer. Good thing I'm stupid. We might be in we might be in some trouble, guys. Yeah. Just 
Just uh, waiting on Ren's initiative. Yeah, there it goes. All right. There we go. And Ren is first. Um. All right. It's not what I wanted, but here we are. Um. <laughs> so we don't know that there's a mind flayer in there, right? Nope. All right. So I'm gonna step into the hallway. Um. I'm gonna start move. That sucks. We should leave. Two. Um. I don't have any ranged weapons, so I'm just gonna, uh, let me see what I can do. Um, I am going to cast guidance on, um, uh, Matilda. Okay. It's not the, I, I don't think you're gonna use it. But that's my plan. Sounds good. And All right. We'll, we'll end my turn. And then Renair is going to. Uh, he's going to dash. Renair, you're going to die. Wow. <laughs> um, and as after he climbs up the stairs, he yells, Floon is here. Thank you. Um, and uh, that's all he's going to do. Oh, my God. Because uh, he already used his action to dash. Uh, and then it is the Intellect Devourer's turn, who is going to come up here and um, not attack anyone, just stand by this door. Um, and now it is Shay's turn. Oh, boy. Um... Uh, bu -bu -bum. Yeah, I'm gonna. Um, I'm gonna. Can I come down this hallway without being noticed? Like, is that like I? Because I basically want to hide, but also be able to kind of tell what's going on. Um, you would have to take your action to hide. Um, actually, uh, sorry. I'm just. I'm just trying to think of what I want to do. Um, fuck it, I can't see anything. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna come out here then hide, use my action to hide, because I okay. have no idea what the fuck's going on. Uh, tw not 20. Okay, and you're just gonna stay there? Um, if I were to move at all, would I have to reroll stealth? No. Okay. Um, actually, I'm, I am gonna come down a little bit. I mean, I still can't see Uh. Yeah, I'm just going to stay behind uh, uh, Ren, and Bud be hidden. All right. Um, next up is the Mind Flayer, who is going to uh, lift himself up from the throne and uh, rather slowly, actually, just kind of float down this way, open this door, and step through it. Uh, and then it is Floon's turn, who... Uh, is restrained currently, so he's not gonna do anything. Then it is Matilda's turn. I'm gonna go into beast mode. <laughs> All right. Um. So same place. Right. Or actually, never mind. Yeah. So those are your temporary hit points. I thought we had the shifting thing in your effects. Now nah, whatever. We'll just remember that your armor class is one more. Uh. So do I press click to apply full healing? Okay. Okay. Um, so that was my... Was that my action or my bonus action? That was my bonus action, right? Yes. I think so. Yes, that yeah. was my bonus action. Uh, as an action... Uh... I'm gonna get a little bit closer here to, can I get, can I get up to here? Um, yeah. Can I get, can I get up to right here? 
you can only get up to here. Okay. Um. Or here, I guess. Mm-hmm. No, I'm gonna stay where I'm at. Okay. And that's gonna be my turn. Um, and then it is the half orc's turn, who is going to. He would have been better off if you'd engaged him. He's gonna cast Burning Hands. Okay. Uh, hitting both you and Renair in that area effect. Ugh. Uh, and then Renair also needs to make the save. And also fails. So that is 12 fire damage. Okay. <sighs> to both of us? Yes. How's Matilda looking? Five hit points left. <laughs> Uh, and now it is Ren's turn. Do you allow us to move diagonally? Yeah. Six. Does he still count as being flanked if this guy's all tied up? I'm gonna say no. Okay, yeah. I'm Bloon probably, is yeah. not cognizant enough to be a threat. Okay. Mm. Um. So you had five hit points? I do. Out of what? Out of like, 17. What, what? Like, if you oh, wanted shit. to try to take a stab at this guy instead of healing me, I think I'd be all right. Yeah, but I'm worried he's going to cast Burning Hands again, which would bring you down. Yeah, it would. <laughs> so I want to heal. Not I'm going to heal you. Before take... it gets to his action. Let me see what I have here. Um... I'm gonna let you soak up some damage right now. I'm gonna shillelagh and try to bonk him. Does a 22 hit? Yes. For nine damage. Uh, yeah, that kills him. Really? Oh, good. Damn. Yep. <laughs> okay. Cool. All right. Um, anything else? Uh. <sighs> No, that's my action and my bonus action of my entire movement, so I'm just chilling. <laughs> okay. Um, Renair? Um, I think he's gonna gonna come over here and try and engage the Mind Flayer. <laughs> okay, buddy. Uh, no, no, he's gonna take care of Loon. Yeah, that's what I would That's thought. what he's gonna do. Uh, he's gonna use his action to untie Floon. Uh, and then it's the Intellect of Ours' turn, who's going to stake one step back. Uh, and then it is Shay's turn. So, is there a single source of light? Like, can I... Is no. It pitch black? It's pitch black. Yep. Fucking fantastic. <laughs> okay. Um, if I can maintain that nat 20 for stealth... Um, yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna... Yeah, I'm just gonna um, hug the wall, I guess, and come down to there. Okay. Uh, next up is the Mind Flare, and I don't know if any of you have line of sight to see this. No, you don't. Renair does, but you guys don't. So he's gonna do some stuff. Cool. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um... And then it is Floon's turn, who's going to do nothing on his turn, and then it is Matilda's turn. Um. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm -mm. 
at this point, uh, I'm gonna level with you and say the mind player yeeted. He's gone. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna end initiative, actually. Oh, okay. Right on. So, uh, what are y'all doing? The intellect devourer is still here. Is he just hanging out? He's standing in this doorway. And then after he realizes that the mind flare is gone, he goes into the doorway. I'm gonna peek behind this doorway. Uh, when you look in there, you see that, um, this wall has turned into a portal. A word? Um, and when you see the portal, it disappears. I'm gonna go check over where that portal used to be. Is there any trace of it at all, or a trace of magic left behind? Do you want to make an arcana check? I would like to, if you will uh, allow it. Go for it. Okay. Ooh! Mm. No shit. Tell me everything about this, where this ding dang portal done used to be. Um, I mean, you can sense residual magic, but you don't get any information about the portal. I, with a natural 20, I will say that you notice that uh, there's a pillar here, and you're confident that the pillar has something to do with activating the portal. Okay. Um, the pillar, uh, it has a small symbol carved on it. Um, it is, it, it's the symbol of the Xanathar Guild. Um, and the, the, in the middle, the pupil is, uh, an indentation. It's concave. Is the pupil looking in any direction specifically? Towards the portal. Towards the portal, okay. Alrighty, alright. Alright, Ren's I gonna turn with... to Fluke. <laughs> you? Luke? My name is Floon. <laughs> Guys, we got him. <laughs> are we still... Is, are there people? I can't... What? What's going on? I can't see anything. There's um... Found the boyfriend. <laughs> oh, the boyfriend. Okay. Are, yeah. Is there anyone... Are we gonna get attacked? Um... I don't think so. Okay. I'd like to light my lantern then. <laughs> okay. There is a locked door here. If this is actually, a... that might be my fault. I don't think that's supposed to be locked. Oh, where? Yeah, it's not. Give me access to this room. I unlocked it. Okay, thank you. Okay, just kidding. Anything special about these here rooms? Um, I mean, there's this one that has the arrow slit going out into here. Uh, this one is, uh, used to be a secret passageway, but now it is just lying open. Okay. Um, yep. I mean, these are sleeping quarters. Um, yeah, not much to see around here. So, Okay. There is no more uh, left, no more people. Maybe we uh, take a moment to recover here, especially uh, Floon does not look to be very healthy. And then uh, we go back, or do we go back now? Renair says, I'd like to get him to safety first. Okay. All right, and uh, I think that's actually where we're going to end tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, there were some uh, some encounters in here that, man, this module is not forgiving for uh, level one characters. Yeah. <laughs> it is not. Especially not yeah, just in... three of them. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, the module actually called for the Intellect Devourer, which is CR2 to fight you guys. Jesus. Uh, and I don't know if you, how much you guys know about intellect devourers, but uh, they have an ability that they can just, if you fail a saving throw, they can make your intelligence zero. Huh? Um, and then you're just basically dead. Cool. So that's fun. Love that. So I decided that the, the intellect devourer just wants to cover the mind flayer's escape. And that is it. Yikes. Fantastic. <laughs>
Wow. Some, uh, some unpleasant shit. Yeah. No thanks. Yeah. I, I, I love the concept of a fight that I just fully, I, I no idea what's going on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it so sucks to not have dark like, vision. Yeah, they could have just had their brains eaten. I would have just been edging around the corner of the room trying to figure out where everyone was. <laughs> <laughs> just endlessly groping through the darkness. <laughs> oh, uh, we are going to level up for next session. Cool. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Okay. I'll work on that with each of you individually. All right. Ugh. Cool beans. All right. See you all later. Yeah. See ya. Catch you on the flip side. Yeah. 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 All right, cool. All right. So that is that. Um, let me see. Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. All right, my friends. So that's going to wrap up today's session. But before I bid you adieu, I'm going to leave you with my buddy, Mosey. Uh, and all right, let me see right here. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Thank you. I'm not sure who's still here. Um, Max, Krim, Tom, all my buddies. Thank you so much for being here. I will be posting my new schedule soon. So I will leave you now with Mosey and I will see you later. <laughs>